Welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to go over the original composting toilet in the boat, as well as the new. This is a view of the old composting toilet that was just taken out of the boat. You can see the crank handle was on the left, the urine diverter uh, is in the front, and it drains back to a one-gallon container. In this view, you can see the vent coming off the side. It connected to a computer fan, which vented to the exterior of the boat. The compost stir was an assembly of aluminum flat bar that was bolted to a horizontal shaft, which in the turn was attached to a handle. The plastic bucket was encased in wood trim in order to dress it up some. As you can see, there was a step that was made because the distance was quite high uh, to the seat. This is a view with the step actually retracted back, which would give standing room in the bathroom area. Moving on, in this view you can see the finished configuration of the new composting head. The crank handle is at the bottom and the vent is at the top right. Looking inside you can see the urine diverter in the front and part of the stirring mechanism in the bottom. The mixer assembly on the inside of the composting toilet consists of cogged gears in the configuration of a tinker toy. As you can see, as the horizontal gear is rotated, it turns a vertical shaft which is attached to the stirring rods. The stirring rods are welded to the bottom of the stock pot. And here in this view, you can see how the stirring rods counter-rotating to each other would stir the compost. A hole was then cut into the upper side of the stock pot. This hole will become the vent using a computer fan to evacuate the odor to the outside of the boat. If you like my composting toilet design, feel free to build one for yourself. However, Please do not sell my design or sell my composting toilet for profit. In order to complete the installation of the composting toilet in the boat, a new floor had to be installed that would raise the floor up by approximately 3 inches. I decided to go with a wood uh, grid type of floor made out of maple. The pieces were cut with a dado saw set and then glued together, sanded, stained, and varnished. In this view, you can see it's already installed in the bathroom floor. It reduces the height of the floor to the shelf where the toilet will sit from approximately 8 inches to 3 inches. The new height from the great floor to the top of the toilet will be approximately 16 inches which is about what a comfort height toilet in the home would be. The next step, come spring and fair weather, will be to take the new composting toilet to the boat for installation. Well, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And I always like comments. Anything you didn't understand or you have questions, I really appreciate your feedback. Happy sailing.